The attorney general wants to put a stop on a self-defense murder argument for a man claiming he was defending himself when the victim he was trying to rob pulled out a gun. Action 7 News reporter John Cardinelli has the tale. According to court documents, back in 2016, this ice machine used to be a Wells Fargo ATM. 24-year-old Army veteran Tyler Lackey was going to withdraw money from that machine when a would-be bandit approached him. Lackey pulled out his gun, but it didn't end well for him. The would-be bandit shot him to death, that man now claiming self-defense. This man, Matthew Chavez, was convicted in 2018 of second degree murder for the death of Army veteran Tyler Lackey. The district attorney's office secured a successful conviction and it was overturned on a loophole in the law with the Court of Appeals. Last month, the New Mexico Court of Appeals reversed the conviction because the jury was not instructed on other possible charges Chavez could have faced. You shouldn't be given the privilege the ability to, to, to plead a self-defense def argument in the court of law. And that's what we're trying to uh, firm up in the court. The Court of Appeals has ruled that jurors should have had the option to give Chavez a self-defense charge. Attorney General Hector Balderas disagrees. Because what happens is it creates an absurd result that you can go hold somebody up with a weapon, uh, commit a violent felony on them, and that you be given the benefit of both self-defense instructions is, is just an absurdity. Balderas has now filed a petition to the state Supreme Court asking them to review the lower court's opinion. What I'm saying is that the district court judge got it right, that because he was committing a violent act, he didn't have the privilege to submit to a jury that he'd be entitled to a self-defense self or an imperfect self-defense. Uh, that's what we're trying to firm up in the law here today. Now that the petition is filed through the state Supreme Court, it can take four to six weeks for the court to hear that petition. Reporting in Albuquerque, I'm John Cardinelli for KOAT Action 7 News. Baldera says it is rare that someone gets away with self-defense in a case like this. Over the next.